so I'm in Sparks, Nevada, in northern Nevada, just outside of Reno. And what's behind me is a Ferris wheel. And it's very fitting there's a Ferris wheel in northern Nevada because George Ferris Jr., the inventor of the Ferris wheel, is actually from Carson City, Nevada, just south of here. And he debuted his Ferris wheel at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. So we're going to go learn a little bit more about George Ferris Jr. and we're going to take a look at his house down in Carson City and look at the area that inspired him for the idea of the Ferris wheel down along the Carson River. Our first stop here, known as the Ferris Mansion, was the second home the Ferris family actually lived in. And although Ferris Jr. spent much of his informative years here, I think it was the influence of his time down in Carson Valley, which we're going to go visit next, that really inspired him to make the Ferris wheel. The Ferris family actually moved to Nevada in 1864 when George Ferris Jr. was only five years old. His father was a horticulturist and worked on things like the Capitol grounds and the governor's estate as well as some other private estates in Carson City. The Ferris family actually lived a little bit outside of town in what was known as Carson Valley along the Carson River. And really the family moved into town when Ferris Jr. was somewhere around seven or eight years old. He continued to live there until he went off to the California Military Academy in 1875. So I'm sitting really close to the bank of the Carson River right now. What I want to show you is what the view looked like where George Ferris grew up at, or part of the time where he grew up at, had this amazing view. These are the Sierra Nevada mountains behind me. And you see they're snow covered right now. We're out here in the early part of May. There's still snow up in the mountains. But somewhere in this vicinity was the Ferris family's property. In fact, they have a road just over on the other side of these trees over here that's actually called Ferris Road in honor of the Ferris family. And so they had property here. And George Ferris Jr. would come down and play along the Carson River. Somewhere along this stretch of the Carson River, there used to be mills. And so they were mills that were powered by, by the river. So I'm actually in a totally different part of the country. Now I'm actually in a place called Pine Valley, Utah, where they still have this, this replica of a working water wheel, uh, which has a, it would spin and grind flour or grind corn uh, in here. You can imagine George Ferris Jr. as a kid, sitting and watching one of these water wheels turn around and around and around. And I imagine as a kid, he'd think, Wow, that'd be kind of fun to ride that over and over again. I know I think that if I was watching one of these. And it gave him the idea for the, the Ferris wheel, which of course we have today everywhere. Pretty cool to see one of these water wheels. And the mill, as I've read about it, sounds like it was somewhere in this vicinity. So the Ferris property was over here. And then George Ferris Jr. would come here and play along the riverbank and then watch this mill turn along the Carson River. Pretty neat that this is a location that inspired an amusement ride that we're all familiar with. People around the entire world are familiar with, and that is the Ferris wheel. And his idea came from living along this river and watching that, the mill's water wheel turn. And the idea that, hey, I guess wouldn't it be cool if we could ride that? Which George Ferris Jr. became an engineer. He built the world's first Ferris wheel. He debuted it at the 1893 Chicago's World Fair and the rest is history. It's always amazing to me coming to these places and thinking about what inspired some of the things that we've grown up with or things that we've, we, we hold dear. So I loved riding the Ferris wheels, kid. I still like riding the Ferris wheel. It's a great way to see a view around. It's fun, um, gives you a little bit of excitement. We're all familiar with it and it was all inspired the idea of this Ferris wheel is all inspired by, by this stretch of river here and by a boy who grew up out in this environment. It's a fascinating story and a really neat place to visit. Thank you all for joining me today for Earth and Time. I really enjoyed learning about George Ferris Jr., learning about the Ferris family and their link here to Northern Nevada where I'm visiting at. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to hear more about history or geology and learn more about each and interesting facts, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is Garrett with Earth and Time. 
Hope you have a good one.